Alright, right, this is that Echo uh, weed eater. I got it running. All it was. All it was, the whole reason this guy stopped using it was this. That had wore completely out. And whenever you tip this, gas would leak out right here. So this assembly, fuel line assembly with a with a rubber grommet, was eight bucks. And uh, this is, you know, when it was new, probably 250 or so, two and a quarter. And uh, I'm going to put this on Craigslist for, I think, the last 65. i got to clean this air filter out. But uh, other than that, it's done. I'm waiting on parts for the Makita. I've got this. Uh, there's supposed to be a choke lever that goes in here. And I've already had this running uh, by hand. I've had to do it by hand, you know, holding the choke by hand. But uh, I've ordered a choke lever. The on-off button works, but it's messed up. I'm going to replace that. And I believe this is going to be just fine. Uh, the guy quit using it. Same guy. Same guy quit using this because of the uh, rubber grommet here leaking. And he quit using this because the choke lever broke. So, <laughs> I'll tell you what, very simple fixes. It, it pains me to see people who can't take a few minutes and, and fix something valuable. This new was probably a $500, maybe closer to six, uh, $100 saw. And uh, when I get it cleaned up, it'll look brand new because it's it really, looking at it, it has not been used very much. So uh, I think I'm going to ask 300 for it, and I'm very close to having it done. And then I'm going to get my forge out. I'm going to go back to making knives. Uh, I have Swamp Devil. Some of you may, may recall that I was working on a blade, a new design called Swamp Devil, and uh, I have it cut out and polished, and all i got to do is heat treat it and uh, buff it back out. I have some black G10 with some red liners and some red pins that are going to look awesome. And I'm going to give it away as a subscriber giveaway. I was going to do that at 40000 and I think I'm at like 42 now. But uh, I've been kind of involved in the chainsaw thing. And uh, I've enjoyed it. And I'm not going to stop messing with chainsaws. I've been messing with chainsaws and small engines my whole life. And uh, it's always kept little pocket change in my in my wallet but uh it's been 18 degrees it was 13 degrees this morning which i don't know if that's a record uh, probably not but uh it's a record for me i i hate cold so i haven't been coming out here for the last few days because it's been so cold i come out here and i plug this heater in and i plugged another one in over here to just take some of the bone chilling cold out of here so i could come out here but uh, I blew out a breaker. Uh, that That's the cause of it. That's a bad heater. I should have thrown that away a long time ago. So I had to go buy a new breaker. All my lights are back. I lost everything. All my power out here is on one 20 amp breaker. So when I run these belt sanders and everything, I have to turn everything else off. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, plus, I ran out of propane. So... I do have tons of propane, but I don't want to dig into it. So today I went and I bought a new breaker and uh, filled my propane tank up. So all is good in the shop. See you soon. Beautiful sunny day in Louisiana, right? Not. Oh, there's a pretty moon. <laughs>